I've recently made a Titan build that utilizes both stasis and solar. Thanks to this season's artifact, we're able to get radiant and ignitions without using a solar subclass. So I decided to combo this with stasis, specifically Titan, but this build could work just as good on any of the other classes. And it's honestly a lot better than I thought. This build will focus on using stasis along with the Horfrost Z and solar weapons. Now getting straight into the build or the abilities. I don't think it matters which barricade you're using, but I'm using the towering barricade along with the glacier grenade. Both of these will create crystals since we are using the Horfrost Z, which turns our barricade into a stasis barricade. For aspects, we have Howl of the Storm, giving us a slide melee that creates crystals and Tectonic Harvest, creating stasis shards that give us melee energy. As you can see, we're going to be creating a lot of crystals. These crystals drop shards and give us our melee back. Now for fragments, Whisper of Fissures. This basically buffs our crystals. Whisper of Chains, being near the crystal, will give us damage resist. Whisper of Rhyme, collecting stasis shards that we get from Tectonic Harvest, give us an overshield, allowing us to be even tankier. And Whisper of Shards. Destroying a stasis crystal boosts our grenade recharge rate. So we're going to be making a ton of crystals. Breaking them will give us shards, which give us melee, and boost our grenade recharge. Now for weapons, I recommend the Lingering Dread because it has chill clip, auto-loading holster, and disorienting grenades. If you could find another grenade launcher with this type of roll, then I would recommend using that. And then two solar weapons. Here I'm using one with incandescent because it spreads scorch and a solar machine gun. Now getting into the mods. First we're going to look at the artifact mods. We have kindling trigger. Radiant causes solar weapons to apply scorch to unscorched combatants. Pretty useful but how do we get radiant? Flint striker. Rapid solar weapon precision hits and final blows grant radiant. So we can have Radiant without even being on a solar subclass. Torch. While Radiant, he'll increase damage to combatants affected by Strand and Stasis debuffs. So we're going to be giving Stasis debuffs with our subclass, getting Radiant from our weapons, and then dealing extra damage because we have both Radiant and we're applying Stasis to them. Next we have Pillar of Ice. Defeating a frozen target spawns Stasis Crystals just to create more crystals. Hail the Storm, gathering frozen targets and stasis crystals deal increased damage, and destroying crystals release shards of ice that damage and slow targets. Finally, we have Rays of Precision. While Radiant, Solar Precision final blows cause combatants to ignite. Now looking at the armor mods. For the helmet, Solar Siphon and Heavy Ammo Finder. For the arms, Momentum Transfer, Impact Induction, and bolstering detonation. For the chest piece, your Horfrost Z, charged up, and resist mods. For the leg armor, recuperation, innervation, and elemental charge. And finally for the mark, bomber, reaper, and utility kickstart. Now with this build, you'll want to spam your abilities as much as possible, applying stasis debuffs everywhere. Like I said before, this could work on Hunter and Warlock. A Hunter build would probably use Dusk Field, and a Warlock build would use Stasis Turrets. But this build works mainly because of the artifact mods. You have two solar weapons for dealing damage. They'll give you Radiant as long as you're hitting headshots. And, thanks to Torch, you'll do increased damage on top of Radiant to enemies who are affected by Stasis. This build probably isn't the best but it is pretty fun. It's nice using both solar and stasis kind of, and I like using it for Onslaught too. It's very good defensively, since you're creating crystals everywhere. You can pretty much just use these crystals for cover all the time. Pop your super, make a bunch of crystals. You have a ton of cover right there. Not to mention that you take reduced damage. So it should be pretty easy to survive with this build. That's pretty much it, pretty simple. Try this build. Hopefully you have fun, but other than that, that's all I got. Like and subscribe.
Bring the dream.